Hey, welcome back. We're here with Paola and Victoria from Anonymous for the Voiceless, an amazing animal rights organization. Welcome, ladies. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Anonymous for the Voiceless. Okay. So Anonymous for the Voiceless is a nonprofit animal rights group, and we focus on education and outreach to the public by doing specific demonstrations on the streets. Like those uh, cube of truths, right? Yes. So cube Tell of truth, that. that is our magic. So mm -hmm. what we do is we use uh, large TVs or laptops mm -hmm. to show footage of different ways that we use the animals in our day-to-day -day lives, uh, mm -hmm. from food, uh, experimentation, mm -hmm. clothing. So we cover all those topics on the footage, and we allow passerbys to just stop for themselves. We don't run after anyone. No, you let them approach you. They come to us. It's very peaceful. Yes, very right? peaceful. Um, and they come to us. They want to know, what is this? I've never seen this before. Right. Uh, tell us, what is this? Why is this happening? And we have our outreachers on the outside who will then have that conversation and explain to them what's going on. Right, and they'll be able to hand out pamphlets and leaflets uh, and more information. Yes, we specific want. in our, um, because we are the New York City chapter, mm -hmm. we focus on using cards. So we have these okay. cards that provides a bunch of resources for them to follow through and just look up more documentaries if they want to look up more or go on websites specifically. Um, and so the, we just provide that. And there's also a challenge that we offer for people. So mm -hmm. it's called the vegan22.com okay. if anybody mm -hmm. wants to go there. Mm -hmm. And basically what it is, you go on there, you get a free mentor. It's completely free. So you get a free mentor. You get access to a dietitian for free to answer any questions about the food aspect of you know taking animals off your plate. So tell us, what are we doing over here? We've got, mm -hmm. I see a lot of great... So, uh, yeah, so one of, one of our uh, resources that we offer to people is actually by the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine by Dr. Neil Bernard out in Washington, mm -hmm. D.C. Excellent group. We love yes. them so much. And they offer an app, a phone app. If you have a Droid, if you have an iPhone, doesn't matter, you can use this app. And okay. basically what they provide, it's called a 21-Day Vegan Kickstart. And they provide mm -hmm. 21 days of recipes, um, guidance, little videos with where do you get your B12 from, where do you get calcium from on a vegan diet. And so it's an excellent, excellent app. And today we chose one of those from that one app. One of those recipes from the app? Yes. Sweet potatoes. And what is it? It's called Sweet Potato Burritos. Sweet Potato Burritos. Yeah. Love so it already. We're going to start it. We'll just put this in. Okay. So we're boiling the cubed sweet potatoes. Yes. Yeah. And what's great about this app is that it also comes in Spanish version too. Oh. So you can get both, you know, that access to it, whether you speak Spanish or English. Great. Yeah. So it should be ready already. So I'll just That's already ready? Strain that. Yeah. So while we're waiting, tell me more about these videos. Absolutely. So we have uh, different types of videos. Some of them are um, undercover footage that people have actually gone into these um, places, whether it's factory farm or small farms, that, and shown the conditions of the animals. Mm -hmm. um, and then they also show the process. Particularly the chickens, I think. The right? chickens the are pigs. one of the most impactful yeah. ones because they, we focus on the baby chicks and what mm -hmm. happens to the males in the industry. Um, and we actually have footage of that and people okay. have never seen. They didn't, like a lot of people don't know. No, they don't know. The male chicks have to be destroyed in right. order to get your eggs. And right. so um, we, we focus on different footage like that, but we also show experimentation, for instance, and how they use monkeys mm -hmm. and rabbits and, and they all still of that. use animals. They for still do. Right? But Animal it, testing. luckily, a lot of companies are switching over mm -hmm. to cruelty free and we are getting a lot of movement in that realm. Yeah. So that has been really good. So for, it's amazing because people are demanding it. Yeah, now, right? it's, it's we changing. Read the labels, make, want to make sure it's uh, not tested on animals, cruelty free, even vegan. Absolutely. And, and then just yeah. like you were saying, you're kind of shocked at the fact that we still use animal testing in 2019 right. and that's yeah. the, our goal most people have no idea about what's going on behind the scenes so right. that's what we're there for yeah. to educate and one of the big things too is like the fur weather wears, especially in New York City, because mm. we get the cold climates, and you know in Canada I know as well. Canada's cold too. Yes. Yeah, we got the so Canada goose Canada over there. Canada goose, and so there's a lot of companies that still use fur or down feathers down. from and mm -hmm. ducks, and people don't know where these come from. No. They think they're just they just oh look you just oh, shave them off. You're just the shaving, animal. plucking them very gently. Yeah. You know, animals yeah. are you know destroyed. They suffer, and so right. we we focus on making that connection for people okay. so they understand. 
exactly what is, because it's all about having that knowledge and that education, and people want to make informed decisions. They want to know what they're paying for. All right, let's okay. continue with this. I think it's so. Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, put some more of the ingredients in. So, so okay, now we're adding some shallots. Yep. And Basically, I, I mean, it looks like you can kind of just add whatever you want on here. Yeah, right? you could throw in whatever you want to. It's I would a, put some olives in there. Yeah, of, of course. <laughs> yeah. olives. Yes. We're Greek. Yes. <laughs> and you could put some tomatoes in, too. We have um, some great salsa, so we could just slap this on a burrito right now. And... Everyone loves burritos. This yeah. is such a simple yeah. recipe that anyone can make. And like you said, you can add whatever. And it's so healthy. Yeah. You get right. protein from the beans, and you get all these right. minerals and well, it's vitamins. It's protein. Mm -hmm. it's, it's excellent choice. Yeah. And the, the sweet potatoes add like a fun little kick, because it's not a lot of recipes that call for sweet potatoes in the burrito, but it's, it's really nice. I love yeah. sweet yeah. potatoes. My favorite. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that looks delicious. That looks so good. So shall we have one? Yeah, dig in. <laughs> I'll take the big one here. <laughs> it's delicious. It's light. Mm. It's a great alternative to vegan burritos. So tell me more. You have any uh, special events coming up? Yes, actually, we yeah. have amazing. Uh, we have two great events happening. Mm. Uh, we have an entire week of truth happening, and basically, we will be in New York City at a location with so many people because we have over 900 chapters throughout the entire world and so mm -hmm. of, of anonymous for the voiceless and so a lot of them will be coming traveling to new york from City all over the world for this in event yeah oh, right. because we will be 24 7 having a cube of truth awesome and yeah. how many people are a part of this new york chapter so New York chapter, we have um, our group, our, our actual group is 1,300 members. Oh. Yeah, so, but our, our groups that actually come out to events may be from between 30 to 40 people in a cube. People can form it in cities, in small towns. Like, there is no restriction of where you can create a cube of truth for you, near you. And so that gives people a lot of opportunity to actually make a difference on their own, wherever they live. It doesn't matter. And if one, someone wanted to join the yes. AV group, what do they do? So basically, you go on our website, Anonymous for the Voiceless. Mm -hmm. And on there, there is a little link that says chapters. And they will see a map will come up immediately with all the mm -hmm. dots of where the chapters are throughout the entire world world and if there is nothing near you you can create one oh. uh, yeah because that's what we love to do we love to inspire activists to get active mm -hmm. uh, that's what the animals need because just like any any rights movement in history it has had you know a leader like Martin Luther King Rosa Parks but we also most important are the people standing behind them because we need all these people to stand there support the the cause support the focus support the animals and so for that we need as many activists to come out as possible well, thank you so much, ladies, for coming. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Get involved. Check out their website. Be the voice for the voiceless. And now I think I'm going to finish this burrito. Yeah, let's All see. Right. <laughs>